It's a twisted turned toxic love triangle. These people are very well known. The most horrific of all crimes. Featuring a bitter wife who loved money. Stop lying! You're making me so mad! I think it was a combination of a bad marriage with acid being tossed into the mix. A beautiful scheming girlfriend who loves someone else's husband. She she wanted in on the gravy train. She definitely wanted in. And a wealthy foot doctor who was about to step in it, big time. You can't make that up. Almost everyone in Rockland County, New York, knows Ira Bernstein. He was a big shot in town, who amassed a small fortune as a real estate tycoon and the local podiatrist. He had a significant amount of uh, cash flow millions and millions of dollars. The good doctor even treated the entire fleet of feet at the Ramapo Police Department. He was not unknown to this police department. Detective Fitzgerald and myself were one patients. of his patients. He treated you? Yep. And you were happy with his services? Yes. Dr. Bernstein was as well known for his War of the Roses with his wife as he was for his healing hands. Susan Bernstein would threaten to have Ira arrested while they were married. There's audio tape to support that. Oh, father coming back, you're going to f jail and f There were phone recordings on both sides, but there are some of Dr. Bernstein threatening her life. Yes, repeatedly. You want to yell at me? I'll just hang up on you. You're crazy. You are done. In the battle over the family fortune, the Bernsteins stay married but began living separate lives. Police say it didn't take long for the foot doctor to develop a fetish for a sexy ex-mortician named Kelly Grabolik. She was a funeral director. She was. The 35-year-old beauty had just come out of her own nasty divorce and even uglier custody dispute. A little TLC from Ira was a prescription for romance. How did Kelly and Ira meet? Kelly and Ira met originally when Kelly was a patient of Ira's. They were romantic. They were. Kelly was known as a model citizen in Rockland County, but cops did know her name. She had been involved in a tragic death. Kelly had been in a fatal car accident before where she was driving. She was driving. She struck a pedestrian and uh, was not charged with a crime. As far as you could tell, that was an accident. Yes. Cops tell me Kelly fell hard for the wealthy podiatrist and eventually took a job at one of his medical centers. In fact, she's even seen driving around town in his Maserati. She loved Ira Bernstein. When the wife gets wind of her husband's sexy young girlfriend, she files for divorce. Get out with your girlfriend in the Bahamas! I'm with my mom in Florida. Stop lying! But they decide to stay married for the love of money. As Susan Bernstein would put it, um, Ira didn't want to divide up his empire. I think he felt it was unfair. And he expressed that to his girlfriend, Kelly, as well. Ira was now becoming more and more frustrated, and Kelly didn't like seeing the love of her life so upset. I think she wanted to please Ira and had this vision of her and Ira living together with um, a lot of money. So cops say Kelly hatched an evil plan to get rid of the one thing standing in the way of their happily ever after, Ira's wife. Do you think she really wanted to have Susan Bernstein killed? Absolutely. No question. No, no doubt. She comes from a little means. She stood to gain um, fancy cars, big houses, you know, the stature to be with the doctor. All Kelly needed was a hitman to arrange the murder. So she went shopping. She was shopping this hit. She was shopping the hit. She was. Who does that? Kelly Gribblick. Police say Kelly was determined to get the job done, claiming she propositioned three different people. They all say no, and then Kelly runs into an old buddy. While Kelly was shopping for a car at BMW in Rockland County, she started a conversation with Markenzie Lusant. Car salesman. Car salesman, absolutely. A car salesman by day. Uh, according to Kelly, he was a hitman by night. Markenzie Lusant had once sold Kelly a car. What was Markenzie asked to do? Markenzie was asked if he knew anybody that can help take out the client's boyfriend's wife. 
Markenzi and Kelly begin covert meetings at this parking lot. Believe it or not, it's right across from one of Dr. Bernstein's offices and the police station. Hatching a plan to take Ira's wife out. What Kelly doesn't know is Markenzi's car has a special feature. It's secretly wired with cameras. It would appear from these audio and videotapes that Kelly was very serious about finding someone to kill Ira's wife. I think she was very determined. How mean she is? She called me a prostitute. How mean she is? They even devised a despicable and eerily familiar plan of how to off Susan. Was that like a either a hit and run, like when she's getting out of a car, or like playing an accident when they backed up into her and the guy stayed and says, I didn't see her. You know, I was playing an accident, so there's no investigation. What was the plot supposed to be? The original plot was to try to be in a car accident where she gets run off the road or struck. Susan, the wife being dead. Right, and have the other driver that struck her stay on the scene and have the police take an accident report and no one's the wiser. Make it go away. Right. It has to be an accident. It can't be a robbery. They can't figure out there's a camera in the car. Like, it's got to be real clean. Kelly had been in an accident when she was younger where someone was killed. That is correct. Was this just an irony, or did this play into the actual scheme? It very well is ironic. After nearly a dozen meetings, the car salesman makes Kelly an offer she can't refuse. They negotiated. Yes, they did. A hundred grand. It, it actually started off at 200000 came quickly down to $100,000 for price on Susan Bernstein's head. You said you want a couple of jeans, right? Yeah. If you want to, uh, after you get up to be safe, if you want to feel comfortable when you get out the car. But where would a single mom come up with that kind of money? Turns out it was what the doctor ordered. Hey, how are you? I mean, the same way you got to make sure it's safe for you, I got to make sure it's safe for me. Up next. Ira Bernstein wanted two things. He wanted his wife dead, but he wanted 100% guarantee that he was gonna get away with it. The one thing that turns out to be the podiatrist's Achilles heel. Was Markenzi a legitimate hitman? The murder for hire seemed to be the sole sadistic idea of the jealous girlfriend. I think she had an intent to replace Susan Bernstein. But it turns out Kelly was just following the doctor's orders. 